Hey everyone, I just want to make a quick video in regards to a, uh, a street preacher uh, by a guy named Cliff. I believe he's also a pastor at some uh, community church. Uh, he uh, often uh, canvass the, uh, the campus area and preach uh, the gospel in a very uh, apologetic way. Uh, this is the guy. Okay, let's assume that somebody does have a faith in Jesus, yes. okay, but they're, they drink beer and they smoke pot or they're gay or they lie every once in a while to their parents because they don't want the funds to stop. Right. Are they going to hell? Okay, good question. <laughs> I'm very confused. Yeah, amen, I agree, it's a very good question. Uh, he asked a very good question because this, uh, this young boy is confused about salvation. Uh, the thing is, he seemed very receptive to the gospel. He's young. Uh, I believe that if, if a soul winner would open the Bible and preach the gospel, he would have gone safe right there. But check out the answer that this guy Cliff did made. Good question. No, you're raising a great question. If I say to you, I'd really like to be your friend 20 years from now, you know I'm probably jerking you around. Right? If I say to you, I'd really like to be your friend, and then I steal your watch, you know I'm probably jerking you around. If I say I really want to be your friend, it's going to be shown in the way I treat you. Similarly, if I say, Jesus, I really trust in you, but I'm going to do my own thing. I could care less what you say. Then the evidence is I don't really believe in him. I don't really trust no. him. I'm just jerking him around. But as you and I develop a friendship, maybe I'm going to get ticked with you at some point. So then let's assume... Okay, so basically, if someone believes on Christ as per John 3.16, but doesn't care about what the Bible says, that guy's not saved. So basically, if, if a, a mother gives birth to a child, but if that child doesn't listen to the mother, or that, 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 that child was never born, that's a ridiculous statement to say. That's exactly what it is. When we believe on Christ, we are born again spiritually. The Bible says, uh, for, uh, John chapter 1, verse 12, As many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. When we believe on Jesus Christ for salvation, we become a child of God. We are sealed with the Holy Spirit. And God's a heavenly Father. Nothing can change that. Even if we don't care about what the Bible says, we're still his child. We're still going to heaven. Now, that, uh, that person is probably a bad Christian or rebellious Christian. It's going to be least in the kingdom of heaven, as per uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 19. But he's still saved. So, what, uh, what, what this guy Cliff is teaching, he's, he, he's confusing the gospel. He's complicating the gospel. That's what he's doing. Um, and, and I think he made a very bad example about, oh, if I want to be your friend, and, what I, and, I, and I steal from you, I'm not really a true friend. I agree. Except you don't have to be Jesus' friend to go to heaven. You just have to believe on him. Okay, as per John 3 16, whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. What about John 6 47? Very, very, I say to you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. You believe on Jesus, you have everlasting life, you're a child of God. Now, whether you, you care about what the Bible says or not, is on you. Okay, we should care about the Bible, but that has no bearing on our salvation. And there, there was also another clip that he made. He, uh, he, 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 he did an interview with some podcast. And in that podcast, he was teaching a he was he was teaching a muddy backdoor work salvation. Check it out. Right. First, he turns to him and says, "Come on, miracle boy from Nazareth, get us off these crosses." And then based on that, I'll believe you. Come on, little miracle does Jesus. And when I see it, I'll believe. You. Second criminal turns to the first criminal and says, "You idiot, we're dying here because we deserve it." But this Jesus, he's in this is full of the cure of God. And the second criminal looks at Jesus and says, "Lord Jesus, remember me when you come to your kid." Alright, now Jesus didn't say, whoa, 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 kind of, first you gotta get baptized. Then you gotta work in a soup kitchen, and then you gotta Amen. give all your money or half of it to the poor, and then you gotta genuflect. Yeah. No, he didn't say that. He looks the guy in the face and he says, I tell you the truth, today you'll be with me in paradise. Amen. Okay, so that's grace. He didn't deserve it. But he trusted in Christ, Christ forgave him, and Good. gave him eternal life. Now, if the guy would have gotten off the cross, would he have tried to be baptized? Would he have tried to celebrate communion? Would he have gone to church? Would he have given money to the poor? Absolutely. No. If he just stopped be before he said, now, if, if he stopped before that, I would have agreed with him. But now, but now he's teaching nonsense. Would he live a perfect life? No way. None of us live a perfect life. Certainly I don't. 
But by the grace of God, he would change and become more the man that God created him to be than he was at that time. You see, the real issue when it comes to faith is not how many works have you done. The real issue is, is your faith genuine and no. sincere? Or is it insincere? And sincere faith will be shown in the way I seek to obey Jesus. So Jesus is... Okay, so this is a typical work salvation. We're not saved by works, but works is the evidence that you have genuine faith. That's a backdoor work salvation. And honestly, this guy is teaching work salvation, really. It's just like the previous clip where the kid asked him, uh, if someone claim uh, to, to, be, to be a Christian but still lying to his mother, is that going, is that guy going to hell? Well, no, that guy's not going to hell because Jesus forgives all our sins. Even if we do these things, our sins are forgiven. I'm not saying that we should do them, but you know, John, John 6, 47, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. You have it. It does not say that you believe, but if you still do these things, you don't have a genuine faith. It does not say that at all. So I think this guy here, this guy Cliff, um, he muddy up the gospel. He's causing more confusion, more harm than good, in, in my opinion. And I just wanted to make a quick video about it. That's all. Thank you. If anybody, if anybody wants to know how to go to heaven, click on the link below. Have a good night.